Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited for today's video. But just before we go into today's video, we at Call Louis Academy would like to extend our thanks and appreciation for all those who have supported the channel by watching our video, leaving comment, liking, sharing, and also subscribing. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, kind of make sure to subscribe because that's how you support the channel. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. When you take a look at my Hyper V Manager, you'll notice that I have two virtual machines. I have an Ubuntu virtual machine and a Windows 11 virtual machine. Both of these machines have different settings configuration on them. If I have both virtual machines running at the same time, the overall performance of my physical computer will slow down because both virtual machines will also be in need of hardware resources. That is one of the main drawbacks you will experience if you are running multiple virtual machines. They all tend to demand hardware resources. So this video is all about running multiple different flavors of Linux along with your Windows operating system. I will begin by closing my Hyper-V Manager. Go to Start and open the command prompt. I will type CMD and open the command prompt as administrator. At the user account control, I will click on Yes. I will right click on the top of the command prompt window and go to Properties. I just want to increase the size of the writing. So I will go to Font. Increase the size to 24, go to colors. Maybe I can change the font color to green. No, I'll keep the background color to black and then change the screen text color to green. And I'll click OK. Before we install WSL, let's first try to understand what WSL is. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. In a nutshell, WSL will allow us to install Linux terminal environment on our Windows computer. And this exercise is applicable for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. To install WSL, we begin by typing WSL space, hyphen, hyphen, and we type the word install. And when you press enter, it's going to install WSL and it's going to install the default distro for Linux. The default distro of Linux that installs with WSL is Ubuntu Linux. Instead of using this command to install WSL, we will use another command to list the various supported distribution of Linux. So we'll get rid of the install and then we will type list space hyphen hyphen and we type the word online and you press enter. When you look at the list, you'll notice that there's an asterisk at the beginning of Ubuntu. So it tells you at the top here that the default distribution is denoted by Asteri. So if we are used WSL space having having install, it was going to install WSL and install Ubuntu Linux. For example, if we want to practice cyber security by using Kali Linux, we can just use the WSL command space having having install space having D and then we put the distro name. You'll notice by looking at this line, it tells you how to install the distro of Linux you want to install. So to install Kali Linux, we will just add Kali hyphen Linux. Press enter. And it's going to install Kali Linux for us. When we are prompted with the user account control, we'll press yes and we'll give it some time and we'll allow it to install Kali Linux for us. Upon completion of the installation of Kali Linux, we are prompted to restart our computer for changes to take effect. I will just repeat the command by pressing the up arrow and remove Kali Linux and just put the version of Ubuntu that I want to install. So I want to install this distro of Ubuntu. So I'm just going to highlight, copy, and then paste, and I'll press enter to install that. I will give it some time and allow it to install Ubuntu 22.04. After the installation of Ubuntu Linux, we are prompted to create a username and password for Ubuntu Linux. So I'm just going to create a username, create a password, and I'll press enter. I will just repeat the password and press enter. Here we have it. We are logged into Ubuntu Linux, but I'm just going to exit that and restart the computer for it to take effect because of the Kali Linux that we installed. So I'm going to put in the word exit. Now I'm back to Windows, so I'm going to use the command shutdown space forward slash arrow to restart forward slash T for time and press zero so that you can restart right away. And I will just press enter. After restarting my computer, I will click on the start button 
And there you can see Kali Lanos is right there. If I want to open Kali Lanos or if I want to open Ubuntu 22.04.2, it is also there. So I'll just click on Kali Lanos. Let the installation to complete. I'm being prompted to create a username for my Kali Lanos. So I'll put a username, press enter, put in a password, press enter, repeat the password, press enter. And now I'm into Kali Lanos. I can also click on start and go to Ubuntu as well. And I'm logged into Ubuntu. I can tap who am I? And I see that I'm logged into Ubuntu. The next thing I want to do is to open the terminal, maximize this. I'll tap WSL space, half in, half in, update, just to check for any update for WSL. Then I'll press enter. I'll let that to run. It tells me I have the, the most recent version of WSL installed. So I'm okay with that. Another command we can use is the WSL list command to check and see the different distribution of Linux that we have installed. So we'll tap WSL space, half in, half in, list, space, half in, half in, the bus, and press enter. And this shows us the various distribution of Linux we have. So we have Ubuntu Linux 22.04 installed, as well as Kali Linux. So pretty much that's how we install WSL on Windows, as well as install the different types of Linux that we would like to use on WSL. That brings us to an end of today's video. Make sure to subscribe and keep supporting. Thank you very much and we will see you in the next video. Bye.